Hey, I'm Veronica Taylor. We're here at Edmonton Expo, which you could guess from the background here. And I'm here with Jason and John. Okay, we're here at the Edmonton Expo 2019, and here's Jace dressed up. Hey, today we're just gonna walk around and see if we can get like an, an autograph or two with like uh, Robin Lord Taylor. Robin Lord perhaps. Taylor, who plays Oswald Cobblepot or Penguin on Gotham. And this weekend we're also gonna see Felicia Day and Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash Ketchum from Hi. Pokemon, and Jason David Frank, who played the Green and White Ranger on the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So in past expos they've had like a passport thing where you go to like a dozen places and get a stamp or something. It looks like this year. It kind of looks like a Hogwarts the, thing, yeah, which is funny the, the, since Matthew Lewis who plays Neville Longbottom, he can't make it, he also cancelled. So I don't know, there is no Harry Potter guest this year, is there? Uh, no, they did, don't have anybody. Oh well, whatever, anyways, so it looks like this is the same thing. Shall we get to it then, Jason? Let's do it! So Jason's activating his badge right now. I activate my deluxe card! Wait, what? You're a Pokemon trainer, not a Yu-Gi-Oh master or whatever. So I guess the reason they don't give us lanyards is so they can sell them to us. So yeah, that's just great. Five dollars. Okay. Sneaky. Devious. So just hold that there like that. Okay. And then uh, if we need to adjust... And then we're going to say yeah right after. Like yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, so, All right, are you going to keep your same yeah. names or are you still going to be Jason? I'm still going to be Jason. All right, then let's just keep it that way. Okay. okay. Keeps turning on me. Oh, okay. Let's see what's <laughs> happening here. Okay, so we'll stay oh, Technical hi, difficulties. Yeah. Ish. Ish. You're going to have to just keep moving like this. Okay, I'm not too sure why it's not. <laughs> I really appreciate you doing this for us. Sometimes you just got to... Okay. Give it a second. Okay. It's just kind of wonky here. Sorry yeah. about this. No, I don't mind. <clears throat> I got a cool card from Veronica Taylor there. So, Jace, how was that? Oh, man. Veronica Taylor was so kind to, yeah. to be able to uh, to honor our request. Oh yes, to do that to do that intro sequence you just saw. So we saw the Veronica Taylor panel, and Jason asked a question as well, right? Something about the freedom she has when she's acting, or voice acting, or whatever, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. Okay, Jace, what do you think about meeting Veronica Taylor again? She's great. You know, like uh, she seems very friendly, as friendly as I remember her to be. So yeah, good times. While we're here, why don't we recount the story about when you helped her with her luggage or whatever? Oh yeah, so at one time I was like af off to uh, uh, Madison, uh, Wisconsin for a Pokemon tournament, right? And I just happened to, uh, to be in the same hotel as Veronica Taylor, which was very interesting and on its, on its own. But then we also had the same shuttle to the airport as well. So basically she and I, like, you know, we were just in the, in the vehicle together and started talking about it. It's like at 4.30 in the morning or something, so I oh, think we're wow. both pretty tired. So how many times have you actually met Veronica Taylor? Let's see, once, twice... So one time in Edmonton, one time in Madison, again, one time in Calgary, and then I, I, and here in Edmonton, I believe. That's just that four times. Four times? I believe so, yes. So she probably recognizes you now, right? Eh? She probably recognizes me, but probably just like, I don't know. I can't really, you know, 
call where she's calling from for now. Right, okay. Cool. Hi. And then we went to go see Robin Lord Taylor, who plays Oswald Cobblepot, aka the Penguin, on Gotham. And he's really cool. I didn't recognize him at first because he's blonde, because all I know him from is Gotham, where he's like, Oswald always has black hair. But he's a really cool guy, and I was like talking to him about stuff about how it was cool that Penguin's more of a, a sympathetic character as opposed to like a straight up villain because they have the time to tell more of a story. So, and he signed my Gotham Blu-ray. Pretty good start to the uh, the expo. We're gonna have we're gonna have dinner now. So after that, I think we should probably tackle that uh, map, hey, Jason, that Hawkman yeah, yeah. style map. I mean, there's only nine of them, anyways, right? Nine stops, they well, I believe. Let's right? see if we actually win a prize this time, right? Yeah, well, we always win prizes. I mean, it, 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 big prizes, right? Like, yeah. That's how we win something life-changing, yeah. So here we're getting our first stamp from the cosplay corner. Okay, hi. Hi. Hello. Can I get a stamp? Absolutely. Bam. All right. Thanks. I put it upside down. I'm sorry. That's all right. Bam. I got Thank you so bike. much. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Hi. You need a stamp? Yes, I do. So stamp number two. Thank there you very much. You go. All right. Another stamp here. Hi. Right. Yeah. All right. Right there. Thank you. Right there. Thanks so much. You're welcome. It's another stamp here. Hi. Your stamp. Cool. Thank you. I guess we could get these in order. That's what we've been doing. Thank you very much. Cool. Oh, cool. There we go. Ash and Pikachu together. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Need a stamp? Yep. You guys got some okay. specials, Yep. Alright, thank right you. There for, oh, am I on there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. There's one right there for you if you'd like to. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. Stem? Yes. You came to the right place. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Have fun. Thanks. Hi. Hello. Here for Stem? Yes. Here we go. We have three puppy right. puddles around the corner. Kind of getting a little tuckered out. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they're tired. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Sure. Good luck with the rest. Thank you. Oh, actually, that is their last one, isn't it, Jason? All right, cool. Okay, so we got all our stamps, and uh, we're here going to get the uh, treasure redemption or whatever over there. Are you gonna win big Jace? I don't know, D20? Critical 20? Oh, don't you always don't you always win something better than me and I just win like an extra ballot or something so like who that? Who do you want us to go who wanna, who do you want to go first though? It doesn't matter. Ash is no. Hey there we go. Hey, Ash and Ash. Hey, good job. Two good ashes. Team, good to see you. I forgot my gloves, my Pikachu ran away on me. I right? like I like all these gloves. I know my boat exploded. I, I put on a few, right? But okay. what are you gonna do? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of trouble with my own Pikachu's too. Very nice. Job. Nice. Hi. Hello. How are you? Not too bad. Where is the 20? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Number 20. You actually rolled a 20. I rolled a 20. Wow. I think someone played Dungeons and Dragons. I think we got it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you. Okay. You all right, let's see what I got here. So, whoops, that was a horrible throw. But I got a number 12. 12. All right. I think that's a free poster. All right, thank you. Cool, thank you. All right, Jason, what'd you get? I won a t shirt nice. and an extra ballot. Yeah, okay. As you saw, I got a poster and an extra ballot. Jason always gets a better prize. Here, can I stick mine in, Jace? Yeah. Since you're the lucky one, now that we're back here, let's take a look at the awesome Lego from the Northern Alberta Lego Users Group. That's a pretty big tower, wow. Nice. Is that from the like, Lego Friends collection or something? Judging by the color palette, probably. Oh, hello, Pikachu.
Jason's tired. I am too, not that much, but you know, maybe a little. But it's 8.15, this place closes at 9, so we figure we might as well get out of here. I mean, we've got plenty of time to see stuff Saturday and Sunday. I think it's really cool that Veronica Taylor likes Team Y. Uh, okay, really? That, that's, that's my closing thought for today. Okay, cool. So that should wrap it up for day one of the Edmonton Expo 2019. Tomorrow morning, we'll be seeing Jason David Frank and Felicia Day. So in case I forget to record an intro tomorrow, that's what we're doing for day two. All right, so I got my badge here, so let's tap out of here, I guess. Hi. Thank you, Thank Thank you. very much. Oh, there's that guy hiding again. <laughs> food trucks, food trucks. Oh, we could have gotten dinner here. That was some pretty good rolling, eh, Jason? Yeah, I, I guess that was kind of a fluke. I mean, obviously every number has a 1 in 20 chance of appearing. Yeah, but 20 is the biggest number. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, they should have a really big fries for 20, but I guess since everything's an even roll, I can't really say that any number is better than another. I just happen well, to no. just, just well, call 20, that's well, all. Well, you said that when you got a 20, they gave you a choice of things, right? They so gave that... us a choice, yeah, of three things. You could get like a lanyard or a poster or a t-shirt. And I already got a poster with a 12, and so... we already have a lanyard, so the other choice is a t-shirt. Yeah, but you see that choice is what you earn by rolling a 20, you see? Yeah. I don't know if you noticed when we we're talking about rolling a 20, we we're behind a guy with a t-shirt that said crit 20. What a weird coincidence, eh? Okay, so I got my first autograph of the day. I got Felicia Day to sign my Blu-ray of season one of The Guild. It says John Date My Avatar. So it's a reference to the music video she did to promote one of the seasons of The Guild, featuring characters from The Guild. She was like super nice and stuff. And I kind of told her I kind of almost felt bad and had to like apologize for like watching years of the vlog and tabletop. We're not getting around to watching the guild and Dr. Horrible sing along vlog until now. Huh? Horrible, you're fired. So, so yeah, so that was good. So, so yeah, so that was uh, Felicia Day. She's like super nice and everything. So, so yeah, so that was exciting. So yeah, we'll see her, her panel tomorrow and we're also going to get a uh, good photo with her. So yeah. Uh, anyways, you can uh, get to Jason David Frank, I guess. No, I, I believe that it's like he's still coming in on his flight or whatever, so... I mean, they, they delayed it from like, you know, yesterday to today, so... Uh, yeah, he should have a panel today. At 2 o'clock or something? Or... So hopefully he makes it in time for that. So uh, while you're waiting in line for Felicia Day, a few people ask for my photograph, so... It's always nice. And I, I, a lot of kids recognize me as an Ash, even though, like, wow, they actually watched the old series, or this like, recognize that Pikachu. I don't well, know. everyone likes the original. You know, the original 151 and all I that. I suppose so, so yeah. yeah. Let's go hunt some games or look around. Oh yeah, I'll go take a look at some NES games. So, uh, on my list today of what I want to get, I want to get the Adventure Island games. All three of them? Well, I want to get all three of them eventually. Like, yeah. Whatever they have, I'll, I'll take that. How many NES games approximately do you have? Let's see, well, I can do the, the other way. I can tell you how many I don't have. Okay, how many do you I not do have? I do not have 500, or sorry, I do not have 464 of them. So. Okay, seems how there's like 677 or something, you have what, 200 then or? Roughly around that, sure. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's go hunt them down then. Okay. So here we are again. Jason's going NES game hunting again. What's that, Kickmaster? Do you have that? I don't think I have that. What's your budget for today? Is it high or? Oh, here we go. Venture on so there's one of the do it? I'm okay. Because there's three of them, right? Yeah. Well, like four in Japan or something like that. Oh, oh there we go. Nice. Well, I think you should buy something this time. Yeah. These two games are very tempting. You know? Sorry, which two? Uh, North and South and Cape Mask. Okay. How much for Island 20 bucks. Oh. Okay, that was a $20 tip, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Cool. Alright, so you actually bought something, eh? Yes. Cool. Adventure Island 2? Mm -hmm. So that's the one that introduces the dinosaurs, right? Yeah, I think so. You can kind of see it there. I believe that's the third gap for that Master Vision design. Cool. You weren't going to get something a bit more rare? Wait, wait, there's some rare games over here. Let's take a look and see. Okay. Like Tower Blade. I feel like, yeah, there's 
That's kind of oh, there you go. Power Blade, Blade 2 is rare, right? Uh, if I recall, Power Blade 2 is rare, yes. The first Power Blade is probably uncommon. Oh, here's a Venture Island in the box. Is 245 a good price for Snow Brothers? Hmm. It's not bad. I guess in boxes, much more, right? So maybe yeah. that's what I'm thinking of. This game. Definitely some rare games up there. What happens in a Pikachu? Oh yeah, what is that? Some kind of vampire Pikachu or something? That wasn't the one I was looking at, actually. What? The one below it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. All right, thank you very much. Can I get a photo, Master Chef? Nice, thanks. Cool. Thank you. That's incredible. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, cool, thanks. So this is what that uh, pork guy gave me, I guess. Thank you. Cool, thank you. Wow, those are so awesome. Thank you. All right, here we are at Edmonton Expo. All these awesome fans are waiting so patiently. And if I ask you what time is it, what time it is, you know the answer, right? All right. What time is it? It's time! Hey, that was good. All right. Hi. So what's up, what happened? What'd oh, you do? So I lined up for Jason David Frank, really nice guy. I talked to him and I found out that Austin St. John's real name is Jason. Wait, he's the guy who played it, the Red Ranger Jason? That's right. And his real name is Jason. Jason. And he said that he changed his name specifically just so that when he's on set, he wouldn't get confused with the Jason David Frank. Is that for real? Yeah, that's what he told me. I, I mean, like, it's interesting because the, the Red Ranger's name is still Jason, so if they want to avoid confusion altogether, they should just, you know, he should just... Sorry, I was just grabbing a shot of that mech. Oh. Go ahead, keep talking. No, so they should have, uh, you know, decided to keep... rename the character on Power Rangers or something, right? So, nice guy otherwise. Wait, was that it? That's the running of the Rexes, everyone. Hey, hey. That seemed a lot less chaotic and deadly than I thought. Well, hey, there's actually, there's actually a bottom deck, like the T-Rexes, like just run over everything. I know, right? That's cool, thank you. Are you thinking the passionate potato, Jace? Yeah, bro. Taco Supreme fries, fries sounds interesting, I don't know. Chili cheese fries, so some good options here. Hey, what's that there? Oh, deep fried Oreo. I don't know who wouldn't want to have any of that. Cool, alrighty. Let's go find a spot. So what'd you get, Jace? This is yours. Check it out. Ooh. Taco Supreme fries, nice. And I got poutine. A lot of gravy. Hmm? Good gravy, man. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you, you have to come to Canada to actually try good poutine. I've seen some videos of people that uh, say they're trying Canadian foods and they, they have this poutine. And um, from what it looks like, I don't think it compares to poutine that we make here in Canada. That's all I gotta say. Don't worry, I'll snipe a shot. Cool. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Chewy chocolate chip. Right <laughs> what about it? It's chewy? It's chewy. Um, it's chewy, my favorite. Oh. It's Tom Hanks. No, it's Mr. Rogers. Bill Tye, the science tie. 
Phil, Phil, Phil. Wait, are these ties? Oh, never mind, it's a sock. That was totally wrong. <laughs> Try it again. No, it doesn't matter now. So if you want to have a 20, you got to have 25 on you. No. They are cute though. Okay. I don't know why you like Bob Ross so much, but... I, I just want to bug John, that's it. Okay, well, you got your picture with him finally. And yes. the painting. Cool. It looked really good. Cool, thank you. My feet are starting to get tired, but at least my shoes are still intact. Oh yeah, let's see your shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. So what's cool about your shoes? You drew that on, right? Yes, that is correct. Yes, some Sharpie. So we checked out the Jason David Frank Q&A panel. And Jason David Frank, he played the green and white Power Ranger in the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series. And then he appeared again in the later Power Rangers series as the longest running character. And he even made an appearance in the 2017 Power Rangers movie. He does a cameo near the end. So yeah, he's pretty much the most Power Ranger-ish guy ever. But he didn't actually talk a whole lot about being a Power Ranger. He was talking about the integrity and like doing the best he can for his fans like how he had so much trouble with getting in because of his flight issues or whatever but he just had to make sure that he arrived on time and did what he could and he dressed up nice and was all about you know doing his best he also showed a clip from his project of uh, JDF Spoken Truth the first volume which is titled Mask about, you know, the masks we wear, you know, metaphorical and whatnot. So yeah, not a lot about Power Rangers, but yeah, just about himself. So that was really cool. The veggies are all spelling it out. What is that again? The uh Hulk Hawk Challenge from uh Smokehouse Smokehouse BBQ. Yeah. It has a lot of flavor. I'm kidding. It's good thing. Should I get a Thunderstone Pikachu? No! Oh, there's Pac Man for the side of it. There's the Pac Man right behind me. I can't believe it's. Towards the end of Saturday already. It's like almost two thirds of the expo over already. But right now we're about to see the costume contest. I think they used to call it cosplay contest, but they call it costume contest. I don't know. I thought cosplay was the correct term here, isn't it? Or... But anyways, we're gonna see some awesome costumes either way. And uh... how come you're not in it, Jason? Eh, I don't think they would allow me to enter. Not enough of my costume was made by myself. So... Oh, that's true. Well, your costume looks good anyways. Oh, thank you, yes. Okay, so we're gonna see... I mean, see I could probably win a work costume contest or something like that. Best in show is hard. Super, super hard. We are getting into the pool of the blood elf. So, unlike uh, Calgary's contest this year, if you remember, which took three hours with so much time killing and then left us in the snow. Oh, goody, we gotta brush this off before we can go. This Edmonton costume contest only took, well, just under an hour, so yeah, it was, and that's including the time killing, but they were like dancing and stuff, not like telling corny jokes like in Calgary, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, what do you think of this year, Jace? Um, I feel like that, um, you know, in the previous years when the costume contest, they'd have like a musical number and people would be dancing or doing right, stuff. Right, that, right. Like, but here, they just walk on, do a little a bit of an action, and walk off. Like, there's no actual like music specific for the costumes. You know? That's right, they didn't do like real big, like, 
skits or dances or, I, I or performances. I wonder if they that on their website like a while back because I feel like if if you made your costume and had your dance routine or whatever worked out and they say, no, you can't do that oh, this yeah. year. Like, I, 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 I feel a little bit, uh, what's the word, robbed of, of some of my true capabilities, but maybe at the same time, I don't know, maybe, maybe they didn't mention that in the rules that were months back, I don't know. So yeah, so whatever the reason, it was quicker and shorter. I mean, yeah, I mean, fewer contestants is one thing, a better host, Mark Muir was a good host. Uh, he's hosted for Edmonton before, so I mean it's still sunlight out, so that's nice. So we're gonna get our photos tomorrow, and then that'll probably be it, hey? Yeah, that's correct. Do you have any more shopping you need to do, or? Are we gonna get the mystery box this time again? No, well, up to you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Don't forget we to lug it on the train unless you want to drive. So. Yeah. Okay. 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 Anyways, yeah. So, <laughs> see you guys tomorrow, as in uh, another second. Okay. Bye. So what day is it today, Jace? It's Felicia Day! No, it's Sunday, but okay, that works too. And you must be glad to not have to wear your outfit anymore, eh? Um, actually, the outfit wasn't too bad to wear. So. Okay, but then you're not obligated to have to carry around that Pikachu all the time, right? There's nothing wrong with carrying Pikachu. It weighs like less than a pound, right? So. Right, but it's still occupying your hands, right? Yeah, I guess so. How do you guys pronounce this Pokemon? Leave it in the comments, I think. Oh, that? Yes. This one right here, this blue guy right here. How do you pronounce that? Let me know. Or let John know, I guess. I don't really care. I know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Why? Has that, someone said it the other way? Oh yeah, a few people did. That's weird. What you looking at, John? Some amiibo. Don't we already have enough amiibo at home? Are you gonna go for it, Jace? Get some Mortal Kombat action into the home? When you look at this guy, I feel like that he thinks that the game is not interesting enough to look at. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I always love that that rapid front punch combo. But I think every character can do that, right? Which one do you like best? Hmm. Oh, you said you want the Ninja Turtles one, right? Yeah. Is that actually four players? All right. Let's see. Here. Should I try the alchemizing trick on this? Oh, like from High Score Girl. Do you know how to do it? It's like pressing jump or a directional button 0.033 seconds after breaking it or something. Yep. No. Okay, just do that alchemizing. I got some points. You got a hammer. Did you get beat up by ripped off Wolverine Man or whatever? Yeah, sure. All right. I can play this one and be done. Man. Are you thinking about that shadow gate again, Jace? Yeah, I'm thinking about this one. Oh yeah, they got some games up there, yeah. They got Rover! Rover! It's on milk! Alright, <laughs> anyways. Hey, it's only $30. Maybe. Well, that's not that bad, right? For a box game, is it in nice condition? I would assume there's a game. Well, you can tell, right? You look at it. You got the second one yesterday, might as well get the first one today. Fine, I'll go and talk to that person over there. I believe he's the one. Hello. It's so much fun. I love Adventure Island. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. So are you happy you got Adventure Island 1 and 2? Yep. So here's number 1 again. Nice. Yeah, the best one for sure is uh, Super Adventure Island 2 on the Super NES. Yeah, but right now my priority is getting NES. That's right. Carmen San Diego is in Edmonton, Alberta. Wow, that's a very specific one. In his challenge. Yeah. Yuck. That goose flurkin is like yikes. What's your name? Ash Ketchum. Ketchum minifigures. Oh, okay. There's nice. also Mega Man and stuff. Wow, oh, okay. Look at all these different Iron Men. <laughs> they look pretty cute. Cool. Is there one of Optimus somewhere? Oh. Alright, just show us your spawn skills since we've never played a spawn in Soul Calibur. Oh, okay. That reminds me, when's spawn coming to Mortal Kombat 11? It's like next year or something, isn't it? Yeah. Soul Calibur 2 is our favorite Soul Calibur, right? Okay. I think so. Yeah. Although uh, 5 or 6 are great for the customization. Oh yeah, that's true. The customization stuff came after, right? From yeah. free honors. I'm just mashing buttons at this point. So close! Alright, there you go. You kind of figured out how to use spawn. Good for you. Sure. So much possible shopping to do, eh? Go. 
Look at all the Pikachu. Look at all the Mimikyu. Actually, that's true. Most of these are Mimikyu. All right, there's some Pikachu yeah. there. Like this very content one, right? Yeah. What is that purple one anyways? <laughs> yeah, it's an Ekans. Oh, you too. Oh yeah, that is cute. Right. Okay, cool, thanks. That's kind of disturbing. I'm what thinking about, like, you know, since Mimikyu is ghost fairy, but this is just a fairy type. Is this what Mimikyu looks like while when I was still alive or whatever? Oh, maybe. Yeah. It's just a silly Don't think too much about that. Yeah. What kind is that? It's a teriyaki. Cool. And this is from Jerky Jerky. Cool. Alright. Do you want a sleep mask, Chase? Which one would I get? Because like, I like Sasuke. this one, don't get me wrong. Is that Sasuke? No. Sure. Anything interesting here yet, Chase? What are you looking at? Adventure Island 3. You have the first two here let me, today. Let me Might as well consider getting the whole trilogy here. Hey? And that would be from like three different stores too if you did, hey? Which was the one you were missing a manual for? Yeah, they're using that like chromatic arcade font that I like to use mm -hmm. too. There's a game you need, right? Hmm. One day. I want a massage from Mikami College whose hands logo looks like a Hadouken. Hey? It looks pretty uh, Hadouken. Painful. Food trucks, food trucks. So Jason, explain why we have to get something light. It's pretty early right now. We've got some... Um, it's only about 11. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, it's like 15 minutes after 10, 10. Um, we need to get something good to eat. Some spot to eat right now because we've got like two photo ops coming up and a panel. So we don't really have time to, uh, to get anything before the panel to make sure that uh, our teeth are nice and white. Yes. But then by the time we're done the two photo ops, it'll be like two or three or whatever, right? Yeah. Hey, at least we can find a table this time. Jackio's mini donuts. Seems like we're always getting some here, right? Eh? Yeah. Are you thinking cinnamon and sugar or? Here's the thing. We have a bucket for $12. Right. Right? I can buy two and get 24, but it won't be as much as a bucket. Okay, but how much is in a bucket and do you really want to carry it around until you actually finish it all? So that twelve dollar bucket is that like an assortment or just a, just whatever? Uh, well, we can do an assortment if you like. No, that's fine. I was just thinking about getting like the original statement and sugar. Yeah, yeah. sure. In the bucket? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, if you look at it here, Jackie's either made some tiny donuts or she has huge hands. Because mini donuts are not that small. That looks good. There you go. So soft. I love it. Hey, what do you have there? It's bucket o' nothing! Okay, really? It's bucket o' nothing! Surprise your friends, amaze your family, annoy perfect strangers! It's absolutely nothing. It goes for $99.99.99. For only $99.99.99. Oh! So at Felicia Day's panel, it seemed like most of the fans were there from knowing her from Supernatural, but I haven't seen that. She talked about her new book, Embrace Your Weird, and she even gave out a copy of it there, even though at the time it wasn't available in stores yet. So here's a funny coincidence. The evening before, I showed Jace an episode of Tabletop where she played this spy game called Resistance. And at the panel, someone asked her what her favorite episode of Tabletop was that she did. And she mentioned a spy game, and she mentioned the other actor she was there with. So I knew it was that same episode. So yeah, everyone was shouting, Resistance! Resistance! And then she couldn't quite hear it first. But yeah, then she remembered, and it was Resistance. And yeah, just a funny coincidence that that's the one episode that Jason saw, and he understood what she was talking about. So that was funny. I guess she didn't mention it at the panel, but I did read an article that day or the day before or something about how she's often referred to as the Queen of Geek or the Queen of Geeks, but she actually doesn't like that term because that implies that she's somehow better than others, but she thinks that all geeks should be equal and have an equal opportunity to be geeky and to be known for being geeky and proud of being geeky, so 
she just doesn't want to be called the queen of geeks but i mean i'm sure a lot of people still look up to her so yeah she's great so that was a really fun panel okay so we just got our photo with felicia day and i don't know what is up with my expression there i guess i'm surprised or excited or, or something but there's me and jace with felicia day what do you think about that jace oh she was very nice she let us retake the photo because i guess there was glare on her, on her no, glasses it was, again it was because i blinked we saw the other picture i blinked oh, okay yeah so yeah so, john yeah. blinked on that anyways one we have to get our picture with jason david frank pretty soon so uh we better get uh suited up so pretty much because there's a bug on my hand right now i'm gonna drop this camera if i don't stop recording it's morphin time tyrannosaurus okay you morph it's morphin time triceratops Okay. <sighs> Took long enough. I think the putties are gonna like, you know, destroy us All right, now. whatever. Well, Expo's almost over, now what? Well, we get to eat our lunch now, so we've got some sandwiches. Well, we eat. had donuts for lunch though. This is like part two of our lunch, right? What's a lunch or would you call that? Lunch, but a snack? What do you guys think? Like if you have a brunch that's a snack, what, what name would you give that? As a late lunch. Yeah. Is it Liner or Dunch? Okay, anyways. Anyway, but yeah, I, I feel like this expo has been really good. Um, I see a lot of people here really add to the atmosphere, a lot of really awesome costumes. So yeah, good times. That was cool Groot we saw like a few minutes ago, right? Yes, that was really awesome. I imagine there's like some stoats in there or something, I don't know. Yeah. It'd be really hard to walk in that. I mean, if you're right. you going to race or something, it's kind of sad that it's almost over, but all good things come to an end. If we had an like, expo every day, then it wouldn't be a special one. Right? So. And then a picture with Jason David Frank was... Yeah, he's cool too. Yeah, I like that he really dressed up. Like he says, he always does his best to look his best and, you know, respect the fans and everything. We saw his panel yesterday. He's such a, a moral, upstanding guy. So the photo was cool. I feel, I feel like that... They got me in, in mid of changing stance there because it kind of looks like I'm fanboying or something. I don't know. You're like, yeah, as opposed to like... Yeah, you know, I, don't I know. know. But maybe I'm not a violent guy by nature, so maybe I don't have a good fighting stance. But I feel like I was in the middle of changing stances. And That's then they, okay. They like they say, me. in the Power Rangers full theme song, it was the full thing. They said they only use their weapons for defense. That's so right. It's their way of being like, don't start fights. Just like, where well, you can end fights. So it's a less violent way of looking at it. Even though they blow the heck out of Are you trying to say that the next time we play Streets of Fire, I should let you get the first hit on me That's so that right. I have a reason to do that? Sure, whatever. Okay, we're just rambling now. But anyways, that was cool photo ops, so let's have a sound to that. Okay. Last chance to buy stuff, Jace. Two hours left. I don't know, boys. You don't know? Alright, where's the mystery ball? Well, we want a picture of Mega Man's head. They just naturally drop power up. It's a picture of Mega Man's head. So there's Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, Street Fighter. There's so many good boxes. I'll go for Street Fighter. Okay. Thank you. Are you doing live stream? Are you vlogging? Oh, he's, he's vlogging right now. Oh, okay, for YouTube, cool. yeah. For YouTube. Yeah. Awesome. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. right. So here's what the plan is going to be. We're going to take this and open this up at home. So. Oh, you don't open it here? I uh, know because uh, we should probably get going, right? So. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. So I guess we're leaving now. Thank you. So I think for us, that's probably the end of another expo. Another good time. We got all the autographs that we wanted, even though it was really just like what? Four people we met, right? Mm -hmm. Not like 15 autographs in the Calgary one. Well, it was a dozen people because there was like more than one, whatever. I'd like to say that uh, I'm glad for all the uh, people that came up to me and said that they liked my costume and they asked me like, you know, questions related to Ash. So I feel like if you're going to cosplay as someone, you have to really know the character enough so you can kind of stay in character. Whenever you had those interactions with people, I wasn't actually there to record it. Or you weren't ready with the camera, basically. Well, yeah, like, what's up with that? So, maybe people are just camera shy, they're waiting for you to put your camera away. Who knows? But really? it was a very good expo, uh, for sure. Yeah, so I guess the video isn't done if you're still gonna unbox this at home. So, we are gonna get ready to unbox the Street Fighter box. Are you gonna show what happened when you got off the bus? I don't think Colin's gonna like it when I, when I show him this. Wow, right in the head, eh? Mm -hmm. 
All right, go ahead. Even just bumping into a door would do so much damage. So guys, just be careful if you ever get one of these boxes home and you're taking a bus. Let's be careful. All right, so let's take a look at. Uh, so I, I'm guessing this is all like Street Fighter Four box art. So it's not box art. You know, like a character art, basically. Wait, what's the copyright? Do you see the? The copyright's at the bottom. Right, actually, what year is it? There's no year on that. I was just wondering if they're just generically grabbing Street Fighter Four artwork, but if this is like a box they packaged recently, you might actually have like Street Fighter Five. Oh, it actually says Fight on the bottom. Okay, great. Cool. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we got. So if you tape this up, let's just tape this one here. That took off quite a bit of color, but whatever. Anything good? Yeah, all right. So first out of the gate, we've got this. This is a card holder. Hmm. Wonder what's in this plain box. Okay, so we got. Uh... Oh, nice, nice. We got a mug with uh, Chelly and uh, Ryu on it. So there. Oh, it's down at the bottom. Oh, the cop copyrights at the bottom. <sighs> Looks like a new wallet. Just, uh... So it came in wrapped like this. It's a wallet with Ryu on it. Looks like a lanyard with the uh, Shadowloo on it somehow. Shadowloo pin, I think. Street Fighter hat. Nice. And it looks like we got, uh, ooh. Okay, so we got a Street Fighter key ring, I guess. We have a belt, it looks like. I'm just gonna wrap this here and open this up. It's a belt, it looks like, with a whole bunch of fighting moves on it. So those are all the moves that there are. All right. Oh yeah, so it's like one of those that just, uh, so there, there's a buckle right there, you want to see that. But they actually want you to cut it. Yeah, forget it. We're not cutting this belt, we'll just leave it as it is. So yeah, there you go. That's the whole box there. Was it worth it? I think so. I think so. Cool. Okay, so Jason's unboxed his Street Fighter box, but at this point in time, he has not yet. What mysteries lie inside? Viewers already know, but you don't. What do you think about that, Jace? Hmm. Let's see, it's still taped up. I don't know what's in here. What if it's something really stupid like, like, Hakan's oil or something? If you like this video, I would say from myself and Ash Ketchum, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Yeah. See ya. Bye. I mean, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. That's Thank awesome. you so Thank much. You. You're welcome. Yeah.